congratulations on your new Combi Camper. In this video, we show the Combi Camper and demonstrate how to use it. This is how you attach your Combi Camper to a vehicle. Screw the jockey wheel up to the hitch until it is above the trailer tow bar of the vehicle. Lift the handle of the hitch and turn the jockey wheel down. When the indicator knob turns green, the hitch has been placed correctly and the handle will have moved to the right position. Then, screw the jockey wheel right up and lift it to the highest position so that it does not hit any curbs while driving. Ensure that the connection is secure. Secure the security wire through the attachment or round the tow bar of the vehicle. When this cable is connected to the car, be sure that it never touches the ground as the insulation on this cable will be torn. Therefore, pull the wire through the support brace or use a bungee. Combi Camper is delivered with either a 7 or 13 pin plug, which must fit your car. In the case of a 7 pin plug, you should contact your service station and have a permanent 12 volt cable installed with a switch for the fog light. This is a grey cable for the fridge. If the car and the Combi Camper have a 13 pin plug, no other installation is needed. But check with your supplier to ensure that everything is in working order. When you disconnect the Combi Camper from the car, use the jockey wheel to avoid lifting. Apply the handbrake so the Combi Camper doesn't roll. Check that the Combi Camper is level. If not, bring along a leveling system to support the wheel that needs lifting. Use the nose wheel to adjust the level of the Combi Camper lengthwise. Remember to pull the handbrake when the Combi Camper is placed correctly. The Combi Camper must be level otherwise the fridge will not work. To open the Combi Camper, unlock all locks. The winding handle to the support legs is located in the kitchen. Screw the support legs down until the Combi Camper is quite stable, but without lifting it. The support legs are not jacks. Lift the roof rack out into the stop position. Lift the lid to the vertical position and hold onto the tent to break the motion of the lid. Guide the lid slowly down onto the roof rack. Pull the canvas skirt to the edge of the lid. Close the zippers in the corner by the kitchen and pull the skirt down over the trailer box. Lift the butterfly poles, which are the crossbars, up to the red stop sign and secure them. Zip the door halfway and attach the two plastic buckles together or roll the door and lock it with the fasteners. Open the sleeping cabin and lock the front pieces with the fastener. In the luggage box you will find the carpet, a bag with elastics and the front tent. Roll out the carpet. The bag contains 10 black elastics and 10 brown elastic hooks. Secure the elastics into the hooks as shown. Secure the loose ends of the elastics to the D-rings under the skirt. Then secure the hooks under the tent trailer. The elastics can also be secured with tent pegs. Under the lid the plastic hook is secured to the roof rack, or the elastic may be pegged so the skirt is tight. Open the window flaps. Remember to fold in the longer end before you roll together the flap and lock with the fastener. Roll up the ventilation flaps and lock with the fastener. In the case of rain, Peg them into the ground to avoid any rain getting through the mosquito netting. The trailer tent has a built-in sofa which easily transforms into a large double bed. The mattresses are equipped with Velcro to secure them together. The king size option does not have a built-in sofa.
Open the lid and push down the hinges completely. Fold down the tailgate. In the kitchen sink you will find the instruction manual, which should always be studied properly. Place the gas cylinder, camping gas 905, and secure. Behind the gas cylinder are two stopcocks, one for the gas burners and one for the fridge. These should be turned off during transportation. When the black plastic knob on the gas regulator is turned counterclockwise, the gas is turned on. The stove is lit by simultaneously pushing and turning the button. Turn off the gas by turning the button back to the start position. Take the water pump out of the water container and secure the loose lid so you do not spill water when moving the container in and out of the kitchen. When the water container is full, put the pump in place and secure the water container in place. The battery box for the water pump is placed under the basket drawers. Place two 6 volt square batteries in the box and click the lid in place. You now have running water. In the fridge, you will find the manual and an ice cube tray. Remove the red hood from the 12 volt cable to the fridge and insert the plug into the cigarette lighter, which is placed on the back wall of the kitchen. The fridge will then be able to use electricity from the car battery while you are driving. If the fridge is to be run on 115 or 240 volts, run the cable through the hole in the back panel and it may then be connected to an extension cable. Regulate the thermostat on the lower control button. If the fridge is run on gas, disconnect the electric cable, turn the top control button to medium temperature and push the button in for 10 to 15 seconds. Push the ignition button in the lower right corner once or twice until you hear a puff and you can feel hot air coming out through the ventilation grill on the right hand side. Spread the different parts for the front awning onto the carpet in the combi camper so they do not get dirty. Lower the butterflies two thirds of the way to reduce the tension and tighten. Pull out the integrated tent poles to 10 centimeters. The shortest pole first until the lock is free, then pull out the next. Zip on the front awning and fold it over the roof of the combi camper. Pull the integrated poles out completely, approximately 1.25 meters, and lock them together with the lock. Place the remaining poles on the ground where you need them. Click on the center connectors to the ridge pole. Then the side connectors to the legs and adjust for height. The corner holes are placed on the spikes of the tent poles. Tighten up the front and adjust. Pull out the integrated poles completely and tighten the wing nuts on the black bushes. Ensure the rain cover is placed all the way around. Lift the butterflies up in two steps to stop position. Adjust the height of the front tent poles. Attach the side flaps to the plastic buckles located on either side. Adjust the height to avoid straining the zippers. Attach the corners to the Velcro. On either side of the draft cover is a little eyelet. The eyelet fits onto a button.